so i went to bed last night wearing both my apple watch series 8 and my samsung galaxy watch 6 classic and the main reason for this is i wanted to test the sleep tracking on both this for or these watches and here's what i found so let's start with the apple watch because that's what i wear most of the time so on the apple watch if we can go to the bedtime app and look at my sleep for last night the analysis was 7 hours and 11 minutes of sleep okay starting at 9:27 p.m. to 4:48 a.m. okay then you have the graph showing the sleep stages of course the red part is when i was awake and then uh, we have all these other parts deep sleep was 1 hour 22 minutes which is the deepest sleep and uh yeah that's that's about it at least on the watch interface so let's have a look at the galaxy watch so on the galaxy watch if i can go to this this one actually gives me a sleep score of 93 of course out of 100 which is excellent sleep and then this one recorded seven hours 38 minutes and then if i tap on that i'll get a bit more information so of course with the galaxy watch you have the rotating bezel that you can use to scroll okay so the actual sleep time according to the galaxy watch was seven hours five minutes and then you have the sleep score there and then you also have a graph here but the graph looks a bit different from what we saw on the apple watch as you can see and according to this one my deep sleep was only 51 minutes okay and then i had five hours of light sleep and I was awake for 30 minutes and probably one hour and 17 minutes was just in between sleep and being awake okay then you have additional information which is why i like the galaxy watch 6 so this one recorded my blood oxygen uh, during sleep i was only under 90 percent for 41 seconds during out the sleep i'd also enabled snoring detection and recording but fortunately i did not snore for even a single minute okay so i had zero minutes of snoring throughout the night and then i have uh, i had enabled skin temperature measurement so mine was between 33 and 35 degrees celsius okay throughout the night then i have of course this is now sleep consistency over a long period of time so that's what the information you get on the watch interface for both these watches now as you can see the galaxy watch gives far more information let's let's have a look at the apps on the respective phones so once again if we have a look at the apps this one again says 7 hours 30 minutes but actual sleep time was 7 hours 11 minutes okay compared to 7 hours 5 minutes so it's more or less the same and then uh, as you can see here we do have uh, the sleep score total time of sleep all that stuff uh, mental recovery 83 percent physical recovery 74 percent not too good wakefulness was six percent then you have the sleep stages i mean the, the the apple watch app or the health app on the apple watch uh, seems to be a bit more summarized and of course you have to tap on show more sleep data okay to see more and again you can see uh the graph and the details of the graph here percentages and that's about it okay here we have a blood oxygen during sleep okay there's no data for now sleep consistency skin temperature during sleep and all that so i feel like in terms of sleep tracking the galaxy watch 6 does a slightly better job okay anyway that's that's a comparison between the sleep tracking uh, or sleep analysis between the apple watch series 8 and the galaxy watch 6 classic thanks for watching and good luck